Hello everyone, welcome to Mini T Point. Today I am going to show how to create a first Spring Boot project using IntelliJ. Open IntelliJ. And then click on New Project. And then you can see the Spring Boot. I'll give the name as you like. I'll give a Spring Test. And the location uh, you can use whatever location you want to use and select language as java and the type use maven and the group id live as is and the artifact id is same as this the project name and you can use the jdk version if you don't have the jdk version you can you you can click on the download jdk and then you can select uh, whatever version you want to download if you open the vendor, you can see different like from the Amazon and also mostly we can use from the Open JDK from the Oracle and click on download and then select the Java version as 17. It supports 17, 21, and 22. I'm selecting as 17 and packaging leave it as jar and click on next and in the dependencies as of now we should be good with the dependencies that comes with the spring boot click on create it takes a while to create the project it's processing and it's downloading all the dependencies for the spring boot once it's done we are good to test the application yeah, we can expand the source. Inside the source, we have the Java and the sources. Let's expand the Java and we can see the package that we created in the previous window. And you can see the Spring Boot annotation, which is the main starting point. You can see the main code. And let's go to the pawn.xml form.xml is a maven structure in order to add the dependencies you can see the dependencies spring boot starter and also spring boot starter test these two dependencies are included in the spring boot if you want more dependencies you need to add into the dependency section so as we configure java version 17 you can see that in the properties and the group id and the artifact id artifact id is nothing but this the project name and the version is essentially 0 0.0.1 you can change it as you like if you make changes and the name of the project and we can discuss all these in the later uh, in the later videos and if you want we can also add like more plugins by default there is a spring boot maven plugin since we are using maven for like spring boot in order to run the project you can use uh, the run button on the top of the IntelliJ. If you click on run button, it's currently building. And you can see this thing that has successfully started. And we can write few arguments in the main US system. Let's see, let's see one again. You can see this thing boot has been started. And let's see when software like the uh, spring boot has some website the another system that has happened to them to verify. Let's do one again. See, we can see the hello world in the top of the before like starting this pen book. And once after starting this pen book, uh, 
we can see that finished initializing since we don't have anything to start the web project or anything so it has executed after running the command okay that's it for this video if you like this video please subscribe thank you